Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Greetings from Alaska. Good morning. <laughs> Greetings from Life in Alaska channel. We're, so, we're glad that you're watching. Yes, we thank appreciate you for your watching. time. Uh, we are sitting pretty good. We're we're dried in currently, which is awesome. And I mean, we've already got parcel the kitchen done. This was has been our number one priority just because we love to cook, and we haven't had that really capability because we've had such a tiny little area. So. We're really excited to be getting this done. Down in Oregon, our kitchen was... Watch your foot. Yeah. Well, we'll call it a one-butt kitchen. <laughs> That's true. And I think this one's a three-butt kitchen. Oh, my gosh. Four. This is, this is a Five. dance around kitchen. So Six. There's many Five. butts. We have definitely splurged on our, our area here. It is taking up a majority of the house, but we spend a lot of time, all, all in of us kitchen. in here. We all love to cook, cook. and bake and... Play. And play. <laughs> So, yeah, this is where we're at. That'll also help us when we, you know, do our seat. canning and prepping. And we, we do want to we do want to be kind of off-grid food-wise and kind of food secure later down the road. Having a bigger kitchen allows us to ex explore a few more options for, for uh, canning and whatnot. I think. And we make all our food from scratch. Even yeah. when we were in the tent, I was baking bread every Ow. single night. This is definitely more space to do that in, which I'm really happy about. Do you guys want to talk about what you guys are going to do today? Me and you and, well, Liliana, actually, we're going to get the rest of the countertop done here on this side. And then we're going to try to put some more shelves in below here. And I think our, uh, our our big goal for the day was is to get that done, and then I think we'd like to get like some shelving up here and cupboards. Yes. So, which we, uh, it might not be the prettiest looking thing, but it still be shelves. We still have uh, food in the storage container, and it's it's dropping well below freezing, and so we've already had like a jar pop. So we want to, we want to transition all our food in. So we, this storage is really important not to lose anything. Yeah, so. I agree. So Boy. are you feeling okay with where we're at? Oh and yeah. I, I'm amazed at where we're at. I mean, it is a bit overwhelming. Like every day it's like, out. okay, what can we realistically do? Cause there's so much that needs to be done. And the house is in utter chaos because you know, we have nowhere to put anything and we're trying to transition things in so we don't lose it due to the freezing weather. But with that, it's just kind of there. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, we're getting something done every day, mm -hmm. which is nice. You can, we, we definitely appreciate how long it takes to do stuff, but we are getting something done every day. We're working on something. You know, we, we still have our water system to, to finish up. Uh, we want to, we want to, we want to get our solar system better. But we are we do have lighting in here. I mean that's running off our batteries. And those could run for days. But you know, we keep them off. And we have our wood stove, we have insulation. We're we're warm. So no frostbite. I started the fire this morning. Liliana made the fire in the fire wood stove today. And breakfast. You did breakfast. And she well, made us breakfast. Well, I did not make, but I served. That's served true. us breakfast. That's true. <laughs> And, and then you've already done like half your schooling already. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. So we got a good day coming coming ahead, and uh, I guess we'll probably talk too much now. We'll probably just jump right into working on the counters. Yep. I told so you, Mom. A, a bunch of cuts to make and uh, some plywood to rip. And time to jump down from the castle. Right. Thanks, Thank everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, if you get the opportunity, there's Bye. plenty of other uh, YouTubers that are kind of up here doing the same type of thing. So if you have the opportunity, uh, go ahead and check out the Mitchells in Alaska. I'll put her card up there for them. Cool. And go check them out. They they, they do a lot of cool stuff up there, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Maybe getting some more wood for you? Yeah, I think so.
I'm <laughs> sometimes I wish it was smaller so I could fit into these spots a little bit better. That's my daughter. Oh, daughter of mine. Tell me, where did you go? Do you want to help me? All right. I need to un undo these screws. Well, first off, we need, first off, we want to put two screws in. We're gonna put some screws into here. You. You want me to do those? Yes. Okay. I do. You want to unscrew part? Yeah, I want to unscrew. Do right. I have to unscrew this? What this? No, just this part, this one right here. But I want to put. I messed up. I put the screws in the other way. I put the screws in the other way, so they're kind of poking out this side. So that means when we're like over here cooking or whatever, we could get scratched, and I don't want that. All right. Hi. You want to undo this. Oh. oh yeah, Dad hasn't unloaded my car yet. Oh, uh, I'll unload that now. You want to unscrew those for me, please? Yep. One second, ma'am. Oh, you're fine. I got, I got water duty. I gotta do like delivery for water. Some in from this side over here, so it'll be fine. piece? No. Well, it's this piece. Measure the, the shelf for the bottom. Okay. This oh. goes into there. Oh, gotcha. So we got to measure this span, right? Yeah. Okay. So from, from there to there. Okay. And then we'll probably take off like half inch so it can move around. Dropping some stuff. So make sure Sorry. make sure that we measure here because I don't want to. We got to use the smallest measurement. Okay. Twenty seven. Yeah. So we could go 26 and a half, probably be a safe bet, right? Yeah. Or, or and are we going all the way from here down to there? 
No, we're gonna. This is gonna be one. Okay. And, and then, then this will be one. Okay. So do we need to measure from here to there then? From here to there? Oh yeah. It's probably gonna be like fifty seven inches or something. No batteries. I don't know. Oh, right here. Hi. What was that last measurement? 19 and a half? Yeah, 19 and a half. All right. So I have, I have the measurements I need. Okay. For, the, for all the pieces of plywood. Okay. So let's get that going. That should get us some pretty decent. That'll give us yeah. some fairly decent set. Three, well, two shelves. And counter space. Mm -hmm. Definitely help us clear up things right now. Yeah. And then, and then we can work on how we want to do this. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I don't even know. I was thinking about coming out to like right about here. Okay. Or a foot. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. Let me put my shoes on that so we can do the plywood. I will go see what Richard's doing. Thank you. I'm going to put my boots on. Unhook the tank. This one. <laughs> Get out. Your butt's in my way. Hello. <laughs> Guys. Ah. Hey. This is the 24 and 3 quarters. We need Richard on the aisle 000. 53 and a half. And that one goes right oh, here oh, on top. Yeah. That's okay. the one that goes on top. Should we put the other ones in first underneath Probably. it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I need to measure down here. They don't, have, they don't have to be the full size. I know. I need a rough idea. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I bet you are. You look good. I'm just kidding. All right, I just found one. It fits? Well, it's, it doesn't go all the way, but you don't need it to. Oh, no, no. Okay, cool. And there's this one. Here you go. Here's the one for the bottom right here. Okay. I don't know if we want to clean down there first or not. Okay. You don't need the two by fours for anything else? Okay, because yeah, I have other stuff. Okay. So that one can go down there. That's that small one. The okay. Two by... I guess we could use some of those. Yeah, too, right? yeah. It, it okay. just... Has to be one and a half inch thick, right? Yeah, those are. Yeah, okay, cool. I was thinking about using these for shelving, but we can put them down here. Well, I have the, like this. the only, the, I have a bunch of scrap wood. My concern is, of course, is it dry? Because I don't want to, you know, sure. ruin the floors. Yeah. Here, do this. You, uh, I know, I thought about that, actually. Take the other one that's right here. Okay. Do that. That'll hold this one this way and that one this way. Yeah, okay. And then we'll just this, do... I have more of those too. Just need basically another... Another piece 
right there, maybe. Yeah, I think this, we're good. This one? I think, I think we're good. Okay. okay. How do you do that? Can you show me on this piece of wood how do you do that? How do you do it I went right on that because I might use that. I think I'm going to... both? We're going to stain it. Yeah. Both of you? No, you're going to help. When the time comes, i got to make the stain. Stain? Yeah, That's we're going to make the stain. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me put... I might have to move this. You know, we stained our other ones, and we didn't seal it, and they were fine, remember? Yeah. Did you take my piece of wood that was right here? I did not. Oh. Penny, those, those are uh, supporting the weight of the shelves. Yeah, these are. I can make you another one. You want that it. size or what I size? I need it that big as that tiny one okay. right there. And then like this long. I'm going to show you. The top one, do you want to uh, screw in? Okay. Ma'am. Okay. Not very long, but this this long. Okay. Need the rubber mallet? Three inches. So this this actual part of it is very exciting to me because I don't like running into things on the floor. Uh, I'm kind of clumsy, so I, I do I do bump into everything. But I like to have everything needs a place. Regardless, uh, we're almost done with some basic cabinetry or shelving, and that's exciting to me. So here we go. All right. So let's let's just put screws in the rest of these where the yeah. studs are. Okay. And then we'll start putting the shelves up. Yeah. So these boards right here. We rip from the rough cut two by sixes and split them in half. And we had perfect length to kind of do what we needed for two boards. So that was kind of awesome. Uh, do you want to get the stapler and just staple these, that stuff up like you mentioned the other day? Uh, should I just cut it real quick and tape it? Or, yeah, just cut That's, it and tape it. Yeah, yeah that'll save me. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, like that. I mean, yeah, I'd rather be... have it flush on this side and then not worry about that. Okay. If that's okay. Sure. Okay. Where do you want the split? There, here, or like here? There's fine. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's get this one screwed in. Okay. You need my help yeah, studying it? Yeah, you want to hold it? Yeah. Are you going to use the smaller screws? Yeah. Okay. Got them right there. Oh, I see that. I just saw that. I did look at it, though. Uh, uh, okay, so we're doing our we got our counter. And that's, uh, it's going to work functionally for a while. Uh, we'll probably temporarily stain this and seal it. And then uh, right now we're working on some shelves. We're going to have four shelves. They're foot deep. And over here we're going to redo. I'm going to keep these eight inch, like eight inches deep. But they're going to come all the way over to here. And then 
I'll probably put like a a thing along the top for maybe like appliances that don't get used that often or something. Now I'm 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 actually kind of get when well, I get all of our laundry hanging up right here right now, but I'm considering what to do over the top of the window here. Now go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think we should do. I'm I'm tempted to put like a just a a long shelf all the way across the top, and it's going to go. Let me go through the laundry here. It's going to go all the way across to the wall or to the cabinets that we're going to put up anyway. Uh, or I don't know whether we should keep a break in it or put a planter up here or or whatever. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think we should do. And while we do that, we're going to finish out these shelves. That, that, that doesn't actually look level right there to me. Today we're going to attempt to get the rest of the counter, the uh, rest of the shelving done. We got this done yesterday. We're pretty happy with how it turned out. So we have a bunch more storage now. And we're going to carry this over all the way over to the edge of the other ones. Yeah, and we're going to have the same type of uh, look. Very rustic look. Very rustic. Which I love. Uh, one thing we're going to do today, I think, is we're going to get rid of some things, too. We brought, like, Instant Pot, and uh, we brought a griddle. But, you know, using those things, it just is, they're not off-grid stuff. The Instant Pot uses 1,600 watts of power is the draw and the griddle the griddle um uses like 1500 watts now these are these are pretty big numbers when you're talking about battery um, our kitchen light for example uses 12 watts we uh so we have to keep things really minimal on the on the amount of watts that it uses so that kind of dictates what we have in our house mm -hmm. Uh, we also don't want a lot of stuff and getting rid of paring down and getting rim, rid of some of these appliances that we brought with us will be uh, It'll be nice to, to have that that space back our uh, One thing that we want to keep for sure though or I do is the big 20 quart stand <laughs> mixer that I bought down in Oregon uh, We were making about four loaves of bread a day <laughs> Sometimes it Sometimes. makes it makes uh, it, it's a big stand mixer I'm afraid it's going to pull a lot of juice. Yeah, I, I have my concerns too because we don't have the storage capacity, nor do we want the storage capacity. When I was making four loaves at a time, you know, we had freezer space and I would freeze them. But we don't want to, we don't want to, um, yeah, we don't want to do that now. So, and I can easily make bread even by hand. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I think um, if we end up using it, a lot well it's not going to be a lot but if we end up using it 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 needs to it needs to have probably the generator running to run it i don't know yet i'll, I'll be yeah. i'll be calculating the power draw but it's got a grinder attachment i can pick up for it that will grind meat really fast because it's a big thing um we thought about getting a small grinder but if we just need to get a grinder attachment that machine will save us a lot of time versus mm -hmm. the other grinders out there like because we you know when we eventually get a moose on our own we're going to be making a lot of ground meat out of it and we do not want to sit there for a day and a half grinding a whole moose yeah if we can do it in a couple hours with a big grinder that's that's better mm -hmm. and uh yeah so anyway anyway we got the uh, shelves down mm -hmm. so we're gonna go ahead and start measuring out what we need to do uh we're gonna make the same we're gonna have the same look we're gonna go with the same amount of shelves anyway we're gonna have uh we have some lights that'll be under under these it looks very really nice um they are they are on a remote but we do have where did it go we have some we have some lights those are just battery powered 
So, anyway, thank you for watching. Do we want to lower it halfway and do it that way? We should put it inside for a while. Okay, yeah, let's do that. All right. Which, actually, is there any more we need to do? Because I thought about that. We should plan for our... Let's go plan. Yeah. Let's take that, let's take this inside. So we're we're just uh, in the middle of uh, redoing these cab or doing these cabinets, and Amy brought up an excellent point of these are expensive cabinets because, well, <laughs> uh, when we bought the the plywood, it was in August, and up here it was about eighty five fifty for a sheet of plywood. That's three quarter inch. CDX. CDX. So not like birch or beautiful no. wood. Nope, CDX. Just ugly, <laughs> ugly plywood. So, yeah, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We end up using it. We're going to end up with probably using six sheets of plywood for all these cabinets. That's roughly $600, and that doesn't Plus include... The, Plus the, yeah, the lumber rough. for building it. We yeah. did use rough cut lumber, which saved us a little bit. I mean, even, I think, 
It was, I'm going to have to factor out how much it was. Well, some of those, I mean, the 2x4s down there for that, those, this one right here, and this one, those are 1254 for a 2x4. Yeah, it got... Yeah, so we're looking at like 600 <laughs> bucks for these cheap cabinets. Uh, Amy just made a point of, why didn't we just go to the dump and find some cabinets in the dump? I, I didn't really want to do that. The, the dump is far away from here, um, and that'd be really hit or miss. Um, it was more of a joke. So, Plus, I love this rustic look anyways. We had something similar that we did before, and we stained it. We made a stain, which I'm going to make a stain for these and stain them, and they'll look... They'll look I like this look. I like the openness. I like... Um, it's very functional. Yeah, knowing what's there. So yeah, I really, I really love this. Sure, we have to dress it up, and it's going to take some work, but I'm really excited too with the counter top tops. We're going to, you know, custom make those, and those are going to look great. It's going to take time though. Everything takes time. Yeah, for the the finished counter top, we'd really love to uh, get our little Alaskan sawmill out, and we're going to get some live edge. Um, logs off the well i guess beetle kill live edge yeah yeah but we're gonna make we're gonna make planks out of uh wood from the property for the countertop but that's going to be spring because right now everything's frozen even yeah. even this project we've kind of had to halt for a few moments because uh the two by six we were going to rip is completely frozen and we found yesterday when trying to rip the two by sixes when they're frozen is a huge challenge and um yeah so we're pausing that we brought it in and it brought us to the idea to that next um i we're really gonna have to plan ahead and i think we did that yesterday we ma made a list a priority list and um how long it's gonna take and so i think we're gonna really have to um focus on our calendar and preparing for the next day's project by pulling in all the wooden materials that we're going to possibly need and letting them defrost because we're at that point. Yeah, it's it's uh, supposed to get down into single digits at the end of the week here. Mm -hmm. And any because we've been having warm, cold cycles, condensation in our, our tarps that cover our wood, you know, the wood gets wet and then it freezes. Mm -hmm. So... It hasn't been very good for our stuff outside, but we're learning, yeah. and there's really not much else we can do about it right now anyway. Yeah, we got Richard to mention too, we're going to do some research on how cold can we actually run our power tools without um, you know, them failing or, or us causing permanent damage to them, so we're going to be looking into yeah, what's the optimal we, temperature to run our we, yeah, tools. We brought the, brought the table saw up with us we just got we, and then we bought a t chop saw or miter chop saw sliding miter saw um and all of our other tools you know it is they do have operating ranges and we do we, i'd hate to burn out our table saw because it's been a pretty big asset for us yeah and our chop saw and the generator too like if we need to run the generator there there's a point too where we, we can't we run can't that run if it's it, too yeah. cold so i'm just yeah, being right. mindful and learning all those yeah. new nuances that we have to uh work within yeah for now we bring the little tiny generator inside at night i we're gonna have to build a little generator house though yeah we are, we are it's on our projects list <laughs> but that's a long time coming yeah so yeah. anyway we're back to it well yeah. we're gonna finish our tea and then we're gonna have a little a mint tea is that where we're yeah 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 i didn't grow the mint though this isn't our mint we had to buy it um I did find some some of our herbs. Uh, I found some of our herbs that we'd collected and dried, you know, from previous years. So I'm really excited about that because rosemary is one of those, and we had a huge rosemary plant in Oregon, and up here I'm told they just don't do well. So we'll see, but yeah, we'll see. We'll test boundaries of everything. Yeah, I don't know if we have the power to set up our our grow setup. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I need to help you because you keep doing that. Yeah, can you hold that for me, please? <laughs> I got on video.
I did indeed. <laughs> I wish I had a longer drill bit, but I haven't been able to find the drill bits. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I looked the other day and I was like, what? There it is. All right, it's coming right along. It's getting a little dark though, it's about four o'clock.